All right, we have Coach Jackson here. We will start with John Finneran. John. Hi, Jeff. I uh, wonder if you could give us a, a little uh, summation of that game and, uh, and I guess uh, where it got away from you early in the second period. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been the story of our team this year in this building. Second periods have been uh, our downfall, uh, whatever it is. You know, we started off taking a penalty and they scored a power play goal. And then, you know, they come back right away and score. You know, I, I, I think that, you know, you eliminate the second period, we played okay, you know, but they had too many good scoring chances in front of our net. We didn't do a good job uh, picking people up in the defensive zone. Um, you know, it was just, uh, you know, it was a big turnaround from last weekend. It just, uh, we lost a little bit of our physical edge. They were obviously, you know, they were very good and uh, we weren't quite ready for that. Uh, you know, in the smaller building, there was more pressure on us compared to last weekend against Minnesota. We didn't handle the pressure real well. Uh, Dylan, uh, Dylan seemed to hold up pretty fairly well uh, for you all night. It wasn't, uh, I don't think you can fault him for the, the way he played. No, I mean, one goal, there was people in the crease. There was another one, uh, you know, a couple of them that were, you know, right at the back door. Like the, those, those are, you know, not going to be stopped by any goaltender. And th that certainly wasn't on him. That was more on, you know, breakdowns uh, in our defensive zone where we didn't do a good job picking people up and, you know, different situations. And, you know, when, when there's speed, and, you know, and the pressure, um, you know, people are coming at you with speed and there's pressure on you. There's, you have to make make the right decisions, not just defensively, but offensively as well, because we turned pucks over in the wrong areas of the ice that led up, you know, led into uh, scoring chances and goals. And they've, they've got a lot of talent. I mean, they've been playing well since the start of the second semester too. So, uh, and they got some big people, uh, which makes it difficult for you. No, they got a good team. I mean, there's no question. We knew that first time we played them. I mean, you know, back then their freshman, you know, was, Right, right in the beginning of their college careers. And, you know, they've had time to acclimate. They've had some games under their belt. And, you know, some of the guys who went to the World Juniors come back with a lot of confidence. And, you know, they're playing really well right now. I mean, they've, they've had a tendency to do that in the last few years where, you know, something happens uh, that they just turn the corner and right now they're flying. Thanks, Jeff. Sure. And then we will close with Mark Skoll, Mark. Hey, Coach, just one question from me. You've obviously beaten Michigan before this season. What needs to happen tomorrow night to come out with the win against the Wolverines in the even up the series? Well, we have, to, we have to find a way to play with that level of desperation that we had last weekend for three periods. I, I thought we were pretty good in the first, and, you know, the third period we, we did okay. Um, it was the second period where we let down a little bit and they accelerated. And, you know, second period's a little more challenging because you've got long changes, and – you need to shorten your shift so you don't get caught out there tired and is when you're tired, you make mistakes. And, you know, it's been a little bit of our problem, you know, for the most of the season um, where we fall back a little bit in the second period, not just on the road, but at home. And uh, we have to find a way to, you know, simplify our game a little bit when we're, you know, in, in that situation where you got the long change. Thank you, coach. All right. Thanks for the time, coach. Sure.